Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from Well Tech Designs, and today I want to show you how to install our Ford E Series full length Adelie spring. So, what that Adelie spring is going to be is it's going to be a full length Adelie. That's what it's going to do is it's going to go from eye to eye to give you the most strength possible while also giving you more lift on the rear of your van. So typically this spring right here is going to lift your van an inch and a half in the rear. That's what a lot of people are going to want to do when you install the Ocotillo Cruiser Kit. That's going to give you the three inches in the front. This is going to give you that inch and a half in the rear, which is going to give your van that nice level look. So I want to show you how to install this spring here, but not only this spring, but I want to show you another spring that's really beneficial on the 4D series van. Whether you've lifted your van or have not lifted your van, you have this platform spring. So typically you see these platform springs, they're on the bottom of your, right here on the bottom part of your spring pack. And you'll notice that most of the time this spring sits really flat on the rest of your spring. What this is doing is this is basically holding the load. So when you add a lot of weight to your van, this is gonna hold the load of your cargo whatever you're putting in it so the downfall of that is is unless you have a significant amount of weight in your van the rear of your van just rides really rough and that's the part that none of us like we don't like that rear rough ride it's the van kicks it handles horrible over washboard roads and things of that nature so what we're going to do is we're going to add this negative platform spring to this also which is really gonna help soften up the ride a lot. Now in the rear of this van, we're also gonna be adding um, our Fox shocks in the rear, which are another thing that you can do to really help overall ride quality. So what I have here is some of the tools. This is fairly basic and easy to install at home. You don't even necessarily need to remove the springs from the van. However, I felt that for the video purposes of this, it's gonna be easier to show you guys how to remove and install the springs if it's sitting on a bench. So minimal amount of tools really, you're gonna probably want some sort of C-clamp. You're gonna use a set of vice grips. All these are for is to hold the bottom center pin when you are gonna take the bolt out of the rear, out of the bottom. We're gonna move them out of the way. And then you're gonna take a 15 millimeter and you are gonna remove this. So me personally, when I do this, because I have access to it, I will take a torch. I'm gonna to heat the clip on the end up in order to bend this out of the way so that that way I can remove all of the springs easier. So in order to do that, what I will do is I will take it I'm just going to clamp the spring down to my handy dandy table. I'm going to grab my torch friend here and I'm going to heat it up if I can find the striker. There it is. All right. And then it's fire time. And so all I'm going to do, make sure you wear your safety glasses, is I'm going to heat this clip up in order to bend it out of the way. You don't necessarily need to do that. It's just easier. And once I have that nice and hot, I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm going to bend this clip out of the way. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right, so now that I've gotten those bent up and opened up out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna unclamp this, I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the center bolt out now.
that thing is tight. So I'm not going to need the old center bolt anymore as the spring is going to come with a new center bolt that I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this spring. I will not need this spring anymore. It will not go back into the leaf pack. And that's where we're going to take the new spring and put it into the leaf pack. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the center bolt and I'm going to start it from the bottom working it back up into the leaf spring. So now I have it going through the bottom leaves and then I'm going to take my main atta leaf and I'm going to put that in and now last I'm going to put this on. So this is where that center, that C-clamp will come in handy. I can put this on there, tighten that up a little bit, and you can see the pin now coming through. I can use Thor's hammer and just tap that the rest of the way through. And that is my old nut. I want the new nut, which is going to be a 17 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and start that. Get that off and I can take my C clamp off. So there you can see it. That was a matter of eight minutes. So in order to do that. So once you have one side done, you're gonna repeat these same steps and do the other side. So you can see on there now that you have a lot more arc in the spring. It's gonna give you a little bit more room on the bottom. This is gonna lift it an inch and a half. This is what typically we will do on most of the Ocotillo kits which is going to be the four inch kit in the front. Typically we're getting around three, a little more than uh, three inches of lift, excuse me, boom, three inches of lift on that van lift kit. So depending on what you have going on on your own van, that's kind of where we're at. So just kind of wanted to walk you through this. Oh, wait a second. We're not done yet, man. I'm going, forgetting things, see? Start getting sloppy here. So I gotta clamp the spring back down. All right, because my end of the spring is still open and we don't wanna leave that open. So once again, I'm gonna take my fire. I'm gonna heat up the end of this. And now this particular string has a little bit more of a gap right here than I would really like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp that together a little bit tighter. And that way my clamp, when I close it up, my clamp will be tighter.
right, so what we've done to recap on this is this is a stock Ford E-Series leaf spring. We've taken and we've added our full length add -a leaf that's gonna go from eye to eye. And then we've also added our platform spring. So the full length add -a leaf is gonna give us an inch and a half of lift. Our bottom platform spring is not gonna give us any lift. It's just more to help give you a better ride. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little how-to video. This is another one of the little tips and tricks on how to install things. Um, but I hope you guys like it. Please smash that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if this has helped you install your parts or just wanting to get more information on the parts that are available for your E-Series van from Weld Tech Designs. If you guys have any questions, please comment below down there and let us know how we can help or what video you would like to see us add to our channel in order to help you better install one of our Weld Tech Designs products. So until then, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.